Hi everybody, it's Lori here today to do a Bath and Body Works haul. Actually two small hauls that I'm going to go ahead and combine into one to make it easier. Before we jump into all of that, I wanted to welcome you if you are new. Thank you for joining us here at the channel. I hope that you decide to go ahead and subscribe down below and give me a like for this video if this is the kind of content that you enjoy. If you're a returning viewer and subscriber, welcome back. Glad to have you as a part of the channel. So let's go ahead and jump into this Bath and Body Works uh, haul, mini haul times two. Okay, so I took advantage of the recent lotion sale. It was $3.25, one day only. I went into the store, um, went right when they opened. There was already a line, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I'd rather stand outside in the line and let's be social distant and stay apart. That's fine. So I took advantage. I only got five today, and I say only because a lot of people haul you know, lots and lots of stuff. And I know they give it away as gifts and that's great. I have a small family. So these are for me and my oldest son. He um, had asked me for some, you know, lotion recently for his dry skin. And you know what? I thought, let's get him some nice smelling Bath & Body Works stuff. So I went ahead and grabbed five lotions at the 325 sale. So we'll talk about the ones that I got for myself first. The first one is the Snowflakes and Cashmere. See that there on the notes on this say, if I can find it, yes, Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. So let's open this up and, and give this a sniff and see. Hands are kind of dry today. Getting that, you know, yucky winter cold winds that we get here in Michigan. So it dries out my skin and the, you know, the heat dries out my skin in the house too. So, all right. So this to me, it smells kind of like baby powder. I don't know. I've heard other people kind of describing it different ways, but that's what it reminds me of. It's a nice scent. It's not overwhelming. It doesn't linger too, too long. It's on the lighter side, but it has a nice, clean, fresh, kind of warm fragrance to it, along with hints of baby powder. This is really, really nice scent. And, you know, I'm glad I picked this up in the body lotion when they had this on sale, because I think this is gonna be a really nice scent that doesn't, you know, it goes well with a lot of other things. If you're wearing different perfume, I don't think it'll clash too much. It kind of dissipates quickly. So this is a really nice one if you're looking for a lighter scent. The next one that I got, it's a little bit um, stronger, is the Snowy Peach Berry. And the scent notes on this are snow-kissed cranberries, frosted peach blossom, and shimmering woods. Why can't I open this? <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. Give a little, this is stronger. This is much more uh, of a peach scent, I believe and it's really really nice some people don't like it i don't think this is everybody's favorite i tend to i love peach scents this is toned down a little bit with the cranberry some people say that peach smells a little bit like cat pee yuck but this does not smell like that at all <laughs> we would not be putting this on our hands if it smelled like that no this is really really fresh peaches along with a little bit of the tart cranberry. I really like this scent, um, but I think this is more for somebody that really likes peach, you know, mixed in a little bit with some cranberries. I love it. This is a fantastic scent. So I picked one of these up for myself. The next one that I got was the Winterberry Wonder, and I've already kind of put this on myself. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna like layer three different scents on, but this I've been using, this is the one I'm using first. So I've already been using this one. The fragrance notes are Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. This is just a really nice kind of cranberry, raspberry. It's a berry scent basically. So a mix of all of the berries possibly and very um, sugary, nice scent it, it's very very pleasant it doesn't it's not overwhelming it's not perfumey so i think this is a really nice one if you're looking for kind of a lighter fresh fruity type scent this is a really good one for the winter okay so the two that i got from my son 
The first one was bourbon, and I know this is a fragrance that a lot of people like. I've heard people rave about this one, and it says white pepper, dark amber, and Kentucky oak. This one is a really, really nice fragrance. Um, I like this one. I think a lot of men are really going to like it. It has a nice masculine cologne type scent to it. It's really, really nice and pleasant. So I think he's, I, you know, I think a lot of men will really like this one. If you're not sure of a gift idea, I know this is a big hit for a lot of people. So you might want to give this one a try. The next one that I purchased is, is Atlantic. Now they said my son and his girlfriend both agreed it smells a little bit like Amber Crombie to them. So that was interesting. But this has a lighter fragrance, I think, to it. The scent notes say coastal citrus, sea mist, and clean woods, and you definitely get that citrus. It does remind me of, you know, something that you might smell like on the ocean. I don't know if that's the name that's playing into that with me. But this is a lighter fragrance than this bourbon fragrance was. So if you're looking something on the lighter side, you might want to try this. I've heard that ocean is a little bit... Um, deeper of a fragrance than this one so it's a little bit stronger i'm not sure i didn't pick that one up today but these are two that i selected that i think that he's going to really like and i'm looking forward to having him try these and see what he thinks the next things that i picked up in part two of the mini haul <laughs> or it'll be one big haul with everything together was some wallflowers so they had a wallflower sale going on and i believe it's going on at the time of this recording as well so, you know, they put them on frequently. The $3.95 is a good price, at least in, in my eyes right now. That's fine. That's a price that I'm willing to purchase them at, especially if you have a coupon, something like that. So I picked up some for the winter season, some of my favorites. And I grabbed a couple of other ones that, um, you know, I can use throughout it doesn't really matter so I grabbed let's see four of these let me see if I can get it out they come in this I had it shipped to me I may be heading out to the store to see what I can get in store because sometimes the um, fragrance selection varies versus what you can get online versus in store so I'm probably gonna head out and see if I can get any more for the spring that I like at the $3.95 price point I grabbed four of these pink fairy gumdrop Let's see the scent notes on this say sparkling sugared berries, pink cotton candy, and a sprinkle of fairy dust. This is my favorite scent of the year. I love this. I am hoarding the candle. I have at least six of them <laughs> from this particular season. I absolutely love it. It's a favorite of mine. So I got this in the wallflower. I have this going in my bathroom. So I have, oh, I have five of them, which, okay, or four. No, sorry. I can't count. I have four of these, one going in my bathroom, and it's just fabulous. I love it. I think it's perfect for a smaller size room. I don't know if it would get, um, you know, kind of lost in a larger room, but a smaller bathroom, I think these are perfect for. So that's what I picked them up for. So I'm really enjoying that one. Then I got two. These are hard to get out. I guess that's good because then they don't like flop around in the boxes. But I got two of these Merry Mimosas. Interested to try this one. This says sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and iced sugar crystals. So I got two of these. Then I picked up, this is a fan favorite, the peppermint sugar cookie. I wanted to make sure I got a couple of these. Let's see, I have, it says crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, and creamy butter. So I picked up two of these. I think these are gonna be really, really yummy. I did just review the candle, so go check that out, but that's a nice fragrance. Peppermint kind of overshadows it a little bit on the cookie note, but it's a really nice fragrance, so I'm excited to get to using this wallflower. Another favorite of mine is Holiday. I have said before, I am allergic to pine, like regular pine, and I am trying a little bit this season to get some candles that have a hint of pine in them. 
Um, obviously I'm not going to get like the evergreen candle, but, um, I did pick up winter that particular candle and that is not bothering me. So that's good. So, you know, we'll see if, if there are certain fragrances that have a hint of that pine fragrance in it, but not necessarily the pine sap because that's really what I'm allergic to. But for me, the holidays are a nice red hot cinnamon type of fragrance and that's what holiday is. Let's read the scent notes on this one if I can get it open. It says red cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds, and ground nutmeg. That's exactly what holiday is to me in a, in a fragrance. So I picked up two of these for the holiday season. And then I got this cinnamon and clove buds right here. So that's, I mean, very similar, very similar type scent. It says cinnamon leaf, clove bud, and ground nutmeg. So that's cinnamon and clove buds. And then I picked up for the spring, I only grabbed one, so I'm thinking, like I said, I think I might go in to the store and see what else they might have. Something more, um, I, I tend to like the fruit type scent, so I might grab a few on the $3.95 sale. This is the strawberry pound cake right there. And it says fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Love this fragrance, so this will be really nice. And then I grabbed, I had a free gift... So I grabbed this, really enjoy this one. I needed something, it, it's kind of plain, I get it. Um, where my plug is, is in, in my bathroom. There's like a mirror that kind of opens that's right by it. So this fits, I have another, the poinsettia one I'll show you in, in another haul that I got as well that doesn't really fit <laughs> there. <laughs> So this one should fit in the bathroom there and, and it'll be really nice fragrance. I'm hoping to put another one in my second bathroom and we're gonna have some nice smelling bathrooms with these wallflowers. Okay, so thanks for joining me on this, you know, these two mini hauls that I had from Bath and Body Works. I'm excited to try the body lotions and I like I said, I have the wallflower already plugged in. It smells amazing. So if you haven't picked yours up already, look for a good sale. Like I said, $3.95 is a pretty good sale. You know, use a coupon, whatever, stack up for the winter. I highly recommend these. These are excellent. I have some old wall, wallflowers from a few years ago that I just plugged in and they still have a good scent. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I appreciate you joining me. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and give me a like for this video if this is the kind of content that you're looking for. Let me know what your favorite fragrance is for wallflowers in the comment section down below. I'm looking for some new ones, always open for suggestions. So let me know what your favorite is down below. I always enjoy interacting with you. So we'll see you next time for another review. Bye everybody.